Well, hear us with the two right now. Father did that. You don't be father did the lady. She went up there, she made the bed, she made it nice and easy. She went up there and made the bed, she made it nice and easy. Then I went up at the guard, we can't say, I hope the guard, I Mabel, wait me to ride a father did the dad, the dairy father did the dairy, oh. I'm bound for California. I know that I'll return someday. So very well, my own to love. And when I return, united we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me. But me, darling, when I think of thee. Wait sail on board a Yankee sailing ship. Baby Crockett is her name. And Burgess is the captain of her. They say that she's a floating hell. So fared he well, my own to love. And when I return, united we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me. But me, darling, when I think of thee. Oh, the sun, it's on the harbour wall. And I know it cannot stay. I know it will be a long, long time. Before I need see you again So fare well my own to love And when I return united we will be It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me But me darling when I think of thee So fare well my own to love when I return, united we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me. But me darling, when I think of thee. Now look at the pink on that rock there, out to the right there, yeah? See the man on the bicycle? Yeah, yeah, but you see it's all, it's all pink for the Giro d'Italia. They got a great welcome up here. And further up you'll see people who painted their front walls of their houses pink and just extraordinary involvement in
Oh man, climbing. Didn't it come out? Wait a minute. Here we go. Limit. <laughs> Wave at me, it's on video. <laughs> Wave your cane. <laughs> Wonder if he's going to meet the giant. There he goes. Why do they call it? I can tell you. Hold on. Let me get a picture of him on it. I'm sure she told us that, but I just wasn't listening. No, she didn't tell the story. It's cute. It's a cute story. Oh, she's going to probably tell us on the way back. Oh, she should. I shouldn't spoil it, should I? No, it's a fun story. There's a video in there that, that shows it without words. It's cute. It's a fable. How built far is he going to go? A fable built by giants, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's, let me see, I'm going to turn this video off. Let me take a picture of him now. Isabella's wrong. I hope as far as he's going to go. Oh, Eden. Must be looking for the giant. Okay, this is the ferry. The whole, I guess, stern, I don't know if this rip, yeah, that's the back of the ship, lifts up. And we came on on a, a, a driveway. And now it just closes down to close up the hole where the cars came in. It's really pretty cool. And we're sitting in a lounge on this ferry. Nothing like the Bolivar Ferry. Okay. Really pretty cool. He's turning around. Oh, he's turning around? Okay, so maybe I'll let you know whether it's the front or the back later. Bye. Now it's down. Oh boy. It's kind of appropriate. The color of the water of the Irish Sea is green. It's the Port of Larne. That's where we're leaving from. Very cool. On the ferry, on the way to Scotland, there's the coast. This way, the Irish Sea. There's a hundred thousand welcomes and the warmth and kindly smile While the countryside around you seems to say please stay a while Where the exile heart rejoices in the home of Highland men There's a hundred... It's 
very, very expensive. It's an old manor house from the, uh, I would say 18th century, but it's built in the baronial style. So it looks more, you know, it looks earlier, but it, it's not. Uh, and this is the stables which belong to that house. And this is where they hold the Scottish evening and the bagpipe. <laughs> this one although it's not bad but some of them are like picture postcards they're so well kept and so floral in summertime because flowers do very well here in
many things. It's known as the land of hobs, uh, the land of castles, and the land of song. What the Welsh are very keen on, as all the Celtic nations are, they're very keen on uh, music. So they play the harp in Wales, and they have music festivals. I don't know if you've heard of them, maybe not. They, it, it goes back into ancient times, and it's called an Eisteddfod in Welsh, Eisteddfod. And it, it, it's, it, it means festi music festival, the Eisteddfod. And they compete with each other for the best composed uh, poems, the best songs. You know, the Welsh bards in the Middle Ages were famous throughout Europe. They have a Lombardic tradition. Now, the hotel where we stopped for coffee this morning, the Castle Hotel in Conwy, they have uh, a kind of, what would you call it, um, a druid's chair, I suppose I'd call it, carved carved in, in wood. And we can show it to you in the, it's in the entrance lobby of, the, the Castle Hotel is, it's lovely. It's an old, traditional Welsh hotel. It's none of your chain hotels with slick lobbies or anything. It's, it's a real old-fashioned hotel. And parts of Wales, and in fact, the name for Wales in Welsh, C-Y-M-R-U, Cymru, that means brotherhood or community. That's what that means. That's what they call their own land, Cymru. Now, their language is well nigh impossible. If you try to read any of the notices written in Welsh here, I guarantee you won't be able to make a rack. And they have something similar in Scotland and it's called Selkirk Bannock. Um, it, it's kind of speckled bread. It, it's something between bread and cake, but more like cake in a way. It's a sweet bread with dried fruit. That's what, that's what Barabrith now we get a lovely view here of Conwy Bay and you see the brown signs coming up so we know we're approaching a tourist town. That's the Irish Sea. It uh, looks pretty calm. I think we'll be all right. We'll have a nice smooth cross. The five or six castles, the ring of castles that Edward I, King Edward I of England, uh, built around his newly acquired kingdom to defend it. Uh, now this chain bridge here on our left, that's designed by the famous engineer Telford, who designed a lot of the roads through Wales, Telford, Thomas Telford. There's even a town named for him. Here. house in Britain. There's the guy that lived here. Okay. The last inhabitant was officially over six feet three inches tall. Before that, the elderly couple lived here. Oh, In 1900, the house was condemned for human habitation. And the man who owned it went all over the country measuring small houses. True that this was...
had the quickest crossing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Two red wines and it's all just a blur. <laughs> and here's the bus. <laughs> Wave, Joe. Okay. Yeah, Joe, say what you're going to say before on tape, Joe. <laughs> Come on, Joe. <laughs> Wave at me, y'all. Wave. 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 W